Florida, the number two overall seed, wanted to play the night game here on this Friday on day one. Cags deals 96 past the swinging Ty Jackson. And away we go. Allowing yourself the best chance to get a strike. 2-2 gas, and it's 99 from Jack Caglione. 1-2, cut on and missed. Welcome to the regionals, Jack Caglione in Florida. Couple of 99s to get his night started. First team all SEC choice, of course. And he hammers the breaking ball into left center field, and it's out of the reach of Ty Jackson. Cade Curlin's got a double on the second pitch he sees in his regional career. 2-0 to Rivera. And Rivera clobbers it. Florida strikes first. Number 16 for Josh Rivera. Josh Rivera doesn't miss many mistakes. Just a fastball left over the plate. Does a good job of getting himself to a 2-0 count. Well, we get another look here. That's that fastball just running right back over the plate. Just a balanced swing. Backside rotates through the baseball and blasted out to left. 2-2. Greco rolls it past the mound, up the middle, past Rivera into center. Two-strike single for Sebastian Greco and the first base runner for FAMU against Caglione. The lefties 2-2 in the air, center field, and Michael Robertson ends the inning. Couple of zeros out of the gates for Jack Caglione, and 3-2. Thomas pops it up into shallow center, and Bastardo calls off Jackson, and that's a 1-2-3 second for Caleb Granger. Control, that's when you see the best pitching from Caglione who issues a four-pitch walk to the nine-man, Niles. Rolls this one left side, pass Rivera in the left field. Second hit for FAMU off Caglione, and the Rattlers have two on with one out here in the third. Try to take advantage of that by getting a little deeper into the count. This one is bounced gently to Curlin, who throws out Hanchi. Two down, runners move up to second and third. Two on, two out, two-two. Weber strikes out. Caglione's not even pleased with that. Shaking his head. Slugging over 800. If there's a hitter that you gotta be careful with, it is Lankford. Bouncing ball up the middle at Niles, who beats Lankford on a very close play to the bag. 3-2, and Greco works the walk. 1-2 to Perini. Cut on and miss. Fourth strikeout for Jack Caglione. The 2-1. Bounced in, kicks away from Riapel, and Sebastian Greco moves up into scoring position. 3-2. Just south of the knees at 96. 1-2. Fastball at 98. On the ground, left side, and past the dive of Hader Moda. In the left field for Heyman, who's got a two-out single here in the fourth. On the ground to short, and Niles collects, adding over. Using it in every count at this point. Oh, goes right back to it, and that was one of his best. Gets this opportunity every day. On the ground, left side, and in the hole, Rivera sticks it in his pocket. Second hit of the ball game for Ty Jackson. Jackson is, but seeing it in person is even more fun. Now a little hit and run, and Rivera throws off balance with a dandy. Boy, he is so good defensively. There's two down with Jackson to second. 0-2. Oh, Fastball cut on and miss. 97 and a K strut for Caglione. This is bouncing ball left side, and Jalen Niles throws on the run and throws out Dale Thomas for the first out here in the home half of the fifth. That's what you got to do to start to crawl out of it. And Robertson gets aboard where that speed, 70 grade speed, is always a factor. And still been in this game here. That's, that's great right now. I love that he's getting the weak contact. Robertson picked a good one to go on, breaking ball in the dirt. And now we've got what? A Bach called? 
or a clock called. 1-2. Langford pulls it past Hader Moda into left. Robertson gets the stop sign, and they are loaded for Jack Caglione here in the fifth. Five shutout on the bump from Caglione, and now base is loaded. On the ground to second. Brown flips. Niles turns, and it's two, and Granger is fired up. And Granger knows how big that was, the ground ball double play. And really on the emotional side, Rivera's grown a lot this year and over his career. Perini's got a two-out single into center. Brown walked his last time at a 1-0. He's rolled toward Rivera again. On the backhand, smoothly executed. 3-1 on the way. Just low. Great take from Josh Rivera. Wins every single day. Backdoor breaking ball is strike three called. Caleb Granger freezes BT Ryapel. He stays and it's on the ground. Back to Granger. He recovers and throws out shell nuts. But the staff held him out. Jackson flares this one at Robertson. And Ryan Slater enters with a 1 2 3 7. 1 2. Curlin strikes out. If it's a day that ends in Y, Zach Moore is on the mound. 11 pitches in a 1 2 3 7. That rhythm going, feeling good, just attacking the zone. And a roller to Thomas. One, two, three again, this time on eight pitches. Six up, six down, 15 pitches for Slater. Payoff outside, and Langford is on with his second walk of the ball game. 3-1. Instead, a fastball misses, and it's two walks in the first three batters. A base hit can score another run with how deep the outfielders are playing. Hammond goes first pitch swinging off the end of the bat into right. And they will wave Langford around. Luke Heyman adds to the Gator lead. Insurance in the eighth. And the insurance is big there. You give yourself a little bit more cushion. Give Heyman credit for being able to shoot something to the opposite field. Did a good job of staying on that slider away on the outer half. Was able to just place it perfectly in right field. Only 15 pitches total. 3-0 green light and it's floated to right. Jan Michael Bastardo circles, heading over. In a matchup, if you do get Texas Tech. Fam, you might have something to say. Three outs to play with and on the first pitch of the ninth, Sebastian Greco lofts it to left at Langford. One pitch, one out, and Neely and the Gators are two outs away. In the ninth. Perini the opposite way toward Langford and up his glove. Perini motors to second, Langford's throw, does not get him. Perini legs out two on a ball off the glove of Wyatt Langford. Give Perini credit being aggressive. And now Will Brown shoots one into right and they wave around Perini. Sheikoffer's throw, got him! Welcome to the ball game, Richie Sheikoffer. Yeah, Sheikoffer did a really good job recognizing that he was going to have a chance to throw out, throw him out from home, throw him out at home. Came out under control. Quality throw, one hop, perfect. Neely's one two pitch on the ground, back up the middle. Rivera ranges, gloves, throws to the plate. Ryan upheld the tag. Ball game. Two darts to the plate to end it, and the Gators get the Red Raiders tomorrow night. Yeah, just a, a, a tough, tough base running decision right there. You know, the thing about Rivera is he's so smart up the middle. He understands that he's not going to get the runner out at first base with this, with this play. He does a great job of ranging to his left. He knows there's no shot at first, does a great job coming up and firing the home. We will await over the next few hours the television designation and fear not, Gators and Red Raiders fans, you will have that information. Game time is certainly 6 Eastern.